Today on the construction family, we finally completed the pit. But before we go into all that that meant cost-wise, time-wise, and all the drama that caused us to just finish the pit last week, yes, December 30, 2022, let me wish you all a happy new year and God's richest blessings for 2023. We really do apologize for the slow uploads and the long break in full length videos. But trust me, as the story unwinds over the next few weeks, you will all better understand exactly what caused this delay and all of these upload issues. So let's get into this week's video. You can see the men mixing the concrete here, getting ready to pour not on these four inch PVC pipes. This is leading to the pitch. They are not yet pouring onto the pit but they will be stick around and you'll get to see that but this we had to do before we covered the pit you see the pipe leads straight into the pit and you see the inner sections of the pit fully packed with the concrete on at least two levels of the stone right there necessary for the pit backing process in the previous video we spoke about needing more stones but guess what we didn't need any more stones because the gentlemen who were packing the pit the man and broke up the stone line. i don't know how i wasn't there but they used manual labor to do it and they did so well that they could use them to complete the process so that we could get to this stage you know seeing the pit complete the pack the steel work going on on the pit and you're also seeing that there is zinc plyboard and some block on top of the pit you will understand the purpose of the blocks later on you may have noticed that we have wood beneath the ply the zinc and the steel these were left over from a friend's slabbing project and i know that traditionally you would see bamboos usually green bamboos on top of a pit when you're casting the pit but darlings in times like these creativity becomes necessary and the mason we use for this pit project specifically he was comfortable using the wood and so were we by now you've also realized that we have also started the plumbing work on the dream house but you know this goes hand in hand with the work on the pit so one made the other necessary people the pit was not cheap it wasn't as cheap an option as i thought it was but as mentioned in the previous video which is linked below check out the description it was cheaper than the combination of a septic tank and pit and or a soak away we'll talk further about the plumbing items in another video so let's get back to the pit in the previous video we mentioned the cost of packing the pit sixty thousand dollars digging the pit fifty six thousand dollars buying the stones seventy thousand dollars and that video was shared on the 26th of october now, there was a lot of delays in the construction process. Cost the delays that had me thinking that this was the worst decision I've ever made. But here we are today, one pit later. The pit was placed on the back burner though, while we focused on rebuilding, financially and otherwise. Listen, there's so much more to this story than we can even speak of on this YouTube channel. But as much as we can say, we will say here to ensure that nobody else has to go through what we had to deal with for about two months so the men they cast the pit in less than six hours it involves several stages most of which i missed because trust me i was exhausted hubby also missed out on several stages of the casting process because he happened to be working on the stanchion on the same day because my father was there and he was able to assist us with this particular process i am so happy that that is amazing because if he wasn't that would have like cost us about 30 grand to do the sanction and it didn't so thank god for miracles i was able to catch this part of the process which you are now seeing and enjoying i hope it cost us 15,000 jamaica dollars to cast the pit and that process included steel work, stick work, concrete work, all of which you saw earlier. I think that's a decent price. Like, I can't imagine getting anyone to do it for a lower price than that. If you do know anyone who would charge less than that, make up yourself. Let us know in the comments below if you think it was a reasonable cost. 
we are at the stage right now where we're pinching pennies while still maintaining quality and safety because as you will learn in later videos this project took on wings of its own what you're now seeing is the last wheelbarrow of concrete being poured onto the slab on top of the pit that means the pit was cast and you see those blocks right there those blocks are there to create an opening which will later be covered by a concrete slab that opening must be attached to every pit it allows for access so you can treat the waste you can clean the waste and all the other necessary process um, once you own or maintain a pit a soap pit or a leech pit or whatever it is that they call it in your ear afterwards like everything else in life there are advantages and disadvantages with the use of a pit like the pit it's it might be expensive because you don't have the money to just throw it like that but generally it's not the most expensive method to deal with waste disposal and, and, and treatment it's not so that's one of the things it's generally cost effective it's also a relatively simple and easy process if you have the persons available to do it and if you can make the necessary links and it really is just using a small area which can be covered and you can put grass on it you don't want to go on it and traffic heavily on top of the pit but it won't entirely scar the face of the land that you occupy um, yeah so disadvantages again it's not suitable for areas that are highly congested and the soil kind of needs to have a certain kind of porous consistency so these are things that you need to consider when you're dealing with a pit so after two months and about 16 days we have finally completed the pit you can now see the end product for yourself let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are as it relates to the final product that's hobby inspecting checking and soon enough he will cover this opening and yes we will cut away that zinc and put on the concrete slab and you will get that update once we have done so so let's start material we bought 10 additional bags of cement for this process eight of which were used for the casting of the pit we also purchased five yards of sand from which we used about two yards to complete the pit project and we used the leftover gravel to you know add to the cement mixture we also purchased about four lengths of steel four or five and we used all of that as you saw the total cost for the material to do this project was 32,000 Jamaican dollars and the cost for making this pit was a whopping 233,000 Jamaican dollars for some reason the final cost kind of surprised me but that's money it just adds up really fast do we have any regrets at the moment no have we tested it of course we test out the pit as soon as the pipe go down in the pit before it even cover hubby was throwing water in there and no we didn't put anything else in there other than water but soon enough and we let you know how that one works but we tested it and we know it works so right about now it's on to the next project and you will only see what the next project is if you stick around and keep watching for the next videos after this one we have come to the end of another video and if you stuck around for this long type in the comments below pit project completed thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for your support if you enjoyed this video feel free to hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more content like this and share the videos with your family so that they too can get information while they are undergoing construction all the very best for 2023 
and see you in the next video. Bye.